Welcome back, folks. We're back on Tony Baloney the Stalker. Today, I'm going to be showing you a quest line that will lead you eventually to a free SMG, which is Kaplan's Varesque here. It already has the Osprey Silencer on it, the Vortex Kilometer 1X, and it's got the built in underbarrel, so you don't have to worry about that. It doesn't have anything in the handguard or the magazine slot, but there's nothing in game right now that you can make for those slots. So it's kind of modded out as much as you can mod it out unless you just don't like this site. But with that being said, let's hop right into the video and get you guys this SMG. Welcome back, guys. Back on Tony Baloney the Stalker. We are going to be doing a quest today that starts in the army warehouses right here. It's literally just straight north of the farthest right bar army warehouse portal. And it's just to the south of this two army warehouse underground. And it's going to be right here. It's just going to be a dying stalker named Kaplan. See a stalker choking on his own blood. He's got some serious gunshot wounds. Christ, who did this to you? I'm here now. We'll think of something and... It gives you a silver ring with an engraving covered in spots of the stalker's blood. Give this to my brother, Clever. Tell him that I'll always be his brother. Hold on. Don't go closing your eyes. And you get the blood-soaked ring. And you get the quest, a chance witness. Rest in peace. Now we have to find witnesses of the attack, which is going to be northeast of here. So we're going to head this way. And right here, just to the southwest of the middle of the thing, is a guy named Vermin. What do you want? A young stalker was shot near here and recently. Have you noticed anything suspicious? Nope. Most suspicious I've seen was when some guy chugged about five liters of vodka in the bar in one go and survived. Seems not. Does the name Clever mean anything to you? That's a no too. Don't know anybody called Clever. So, okay. Sorry for bothering you. So this is a no-go. So now we need to go and check out the outpost next to the teleport, which is going to be far northwest of us. So let's run that way. And just the rules of video gaming, it's going to be the last place I check. We already know that. All right, and here there's going to be a guy named Plum, and he is just to the southeast of the middle of the, the search bubble. Yeah, maybe down south. This is Plum that we worked with way down south in the swamps when we were looking for Scuba's killer. So, Jesus, could y'all, could y'all, I'm, I'm trying to have a conversation here, boys. Sweet baby Jesus. Are y'all done? Nope. Okay, could y'all calm down? Oh my god, I'm just I'll be back. I'll be I'll be back, but this is I'll be back. This is ridiculous. Are they done? So this is Plum. We saw him in the very first safe zone of the swamp in the Adamans HQ. We questioned him for Scuba's murder for the Coxcomb quest. So, oh yeah, right, you're plum. Actually, about that, a stalker was killed not far from here. I don't know who. But before he died, he gave me a ring and asked me to look for some guy named Clever. Oh, plum knows Clever. Nice. He says he's got a bad feeling about this. Take me to the poor bastard's body. Maybe I'll recognize him. Okay, let's go. Now, a chance witness is complete. You get the quest identification. So, keep up. And it teleports us back. And here he is. So, we're going to talk to him again. Yep, that's Kaplan. He was a good stalker. He never abandoned one of his own who was in trouble. And he knew how to trade for artifacts. So, what does all this mean? So how can we find out there aren't any traces of the killer, nor are there any witnesses? And he says that they used to work with a guy in the bar called Matvi Stepanich. He rarely goes out alone. Are you suggesting that I pay him a visit? And now quest identification is complete and we get Uncle Matvi. And we say that's something. And now we just have to go back to the bar and talk to this guy. So we're going to head that way and I will see you guys in a second. All right, so we're back at the bar now, and Uncle Matvi is going to be underneath the bar on this little second tier level here. Let's talk to him. What can I do for you, kid? Are you Matvi Stepanich? I'm afraid I'm not going to be giving you much cause to be pleased. The stalker called Kaplan has been killed in the warehouses. He gave me this ring and asked me to pass it on to some guy called Clever. You knew Kaplan, right? So you probably know Clever too. Do you know anything about this ring or where I might be able to find Clever now? What happened? You think Berende set all this up? You reckon he killed Kaplan? But if he and Clever were inseparable, what had happened to Clever then? Yeah, that's pretty fucked up. Okay, since I agreed to take this on, I'll see it through to the end. And that ends Uncle Matve, and you get the quest Berende. Got it? I'll be back soon to report the outcome. Now we have to eliminate Berende and his gang, which to kill him, we have to go all the way over to the dead city. So I'm going to make that long journey, and I'll see you guys here in a second. All right, we are 
over in the dead city for Berende's den. This is probably going to be a suicide run if I even make it to the guy because this is bandit territory and the bandits are always over here. The bad thing about the dead city is there's a lot of places that make you funnel in like right here. You have to go across the land bridge. I'm going to try to hug the north end of the zone in the hopes that I can sneak by. You may have to be kind of careful because if you look at the map, there's somebody doing both of these. If I can let them complete these two, maybe they'll move on. I just need them to clear these two out. There's one gone. Now they need to go clear the boar hide out and I'll give them a second and move in. Okay, so Berende is going to be in the second building here. And it's going to be these doors. You just run right up to it. Enter. Get in as fast as you can because once you get in here, you're good to go. Okay, now you're going to slowly move through here. Check your corners. I'm going to move into these rooms because I don't want somebody coming up behind me. Plus, I just cleared these two. That's the boss. He has a lot of armor. You know what? Hold that for me. Yep, that's Berende. Whoa. Okay, apparently if you search this shelf, you get a bunch of stuff. I just clicked on it out of habit of searching things, but three personal first aid kits, a scientific, four armies, an epi, two third class rad protections, and two anti rads. Good to know. Let's see if there's anything else. I've never really clicked on that before. Continuing to move through. Now there's a, a conspicuous wooden crate here. And in this one, we get 556 five, ammo, 762 ammo, and shotgun ammo. Just continuing to clear the rooms. Checking your corners. Because there's another room we haven't gone in. Now that should, that's all of them. And there's nothing else. So that one wooden crate and that one, and that one shelf. Now we just have to return to Uncle Matvey. If you don't have anything on you that you care about losing, if you just have some ammo and some med kits or something, honestly, I would just suicide to go back. But I kind of want to keep these dope stones in the Northern Moss. I'm going to actually use this Epi and we're going to try, we're going to see if we can get out of here alive. I'm going to go the same way I came in straight back through this building all the way as far as I can to the north and running around this rim 
trying to stay as far as I can away from any of these events that are going on. And we're just trying to head back to this little land bridge over here. Actually, you can just jump off and run through this if you have thermal one. Oh, no. Oh, that's a band uh, stalker. Imagine that. I'm kind of out of the, the danger zone of the dead city right now. So I'm going to go ahead and run back to the bar and I will see you guys shortly. All right, we are back at the bar. I somehow made it back without dying. And we're going to go down and talk to Uncle Matvi. Yeah, I have. How did you know that? What? Clever came to the bar? Is he okay? So all that was for nothing. I wasted a whole bunch of time killing those assholes from the dead city, led by Berinde. And that gave us 25,000 rubles and 1,000 repair units. So thank you, Uncle Matvi. This will come in handy. And that ends the no sign of Clever. And you get the Brothers in Arm quest. Once you leave Uncle Matvi, which is right here, you just turn, go up this ramp here. And Clever is going to be sitting way back here, which is in the northwest corner of the bar. Talk to Clever. He says, are you the one that killed Berinde? I say, yep, that was me. And you're the stalker who was a brother in arms of the late Kaplan, right? And it was Berinde who killed Kaplan. Kaplan asked me to give you something. Here, take this ring. And he said they both had him to show everybody they were brothers. Something went wrong. And what broke with you? Or should I say what broke inside of you? Brothers in arms, huh? That's what that means to you, is it? If you don't know, then I'm definitely not going to know. That's a heartbreaking story. At least you're still alive. That counts for something. What do you mean? And he wants us to bury both of the rings. So he, I say, okay, give me the coordinates to Kaplan's grave. And you get his ring and Kaplan's ring. That ends brothers in arms. And now you get a memento of friendship. Will do. Now we have to head to the forest over here to wherever the grave is and put the, the rings on it. So I'm going to run to the forest and I'll see you guys here in just a second. We are pretty close to where we need to be for this a memento of friendship quest. And it is going to be this gravestone right here which is southwest of the where it says the forest, right across this little pond area. And we're just going to click on the cross, bury the rings in the ground, and a memento of friendship is complete, and now we have paying respect received. Back to the bar we go. So I want to make that run, and I'll see you guys here in a second. All right, so we're back at the bar, going back to talk to Clever again. And Clever is gone, and Uncle Matvi is here. You're probably looking for Clever. He left. Left, damn it. Was he lying to me? No, he wasn't lying. He asked me to give you this. He told me... Everything that happened with him and Kaplan. I'm glad I didn't forget my reward. And he says, swing by and see him sometimes. I'll stop by wherever I end up heading. By the way, where did Clever go? He says he doesn't know. That's some good advice, Uncle Matvi. And that completes the quest, paying respect. And we get three pouches of armor-piercing 9mm, 1,500 repair parts, and Kaplan's Varesque, which is an SMG. So this is the gun we get. No inspect on this one either. But it has the Osprey silencer on it, the Vortex Kilometer sight with the guiding mount. It's got the foldable grip that's a part of the gun. You don't have to worry about putting a grip on it at all. But yeah, I mean, this is not too hard of a quest. It doesn't take you too god-awful far anywhere. The only hard part would be when it takes you to the dead city because that's a bandit zone. But even that's not that bad since when you get there, if you can just run straight to where you need to go, you're going into an instance. Once you get inside the instance there, you don't have to worry about dying to a bandit. And the worst comes to worst, if you die afterwards, you got to come back to the bar anyway. But that's how you get a free Varesk SMG. I've never used this SMG. I might mess around with it a little bit just to see how it does. If this video helped you, go ahead and drop a like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I hope you guys have a good one, and I will catch you in the next video. Y'all take it easy.